Hey folks, Mr. MathBlog here, and uh, this uh, lesson is on multi-step problem solving using whole numbers. Okay, and this I believe this is section 412 in your in your textbook. So uh, for Common Core standards, um, uh, we're going to solve multi-step word problems with whole numbers using the four operations: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, and then we're going to draw some diagrams to solve multi-step problems, and then be able to interpret uh, what any remainders represent. So. Let's go ahead and start here. So Bruce and Margaret have three boxes of oranges. Each box contains 32 oranges. If they want to distribute the oranges equally among eight families, how many oranges will each family receive? Okay, so here we're going to go. We're going to go read the problem. Okay, so we just read that problem right up there. What do we need to find out? Well, I need to find out uh, the number of oranges that each family is going to get. Okay, because we have we got a bunch of oranges here. We have three boxes and 32 uh, oranges in each box, and we're going to divide them up into eight families right there. So, so uh, what information do I need? Well, okay, how many boxes do we have? We have three boxes, and each box has 32 oranges in it. So the totals are then divided into, after we get the totals, we're going to divide them up into these eight families right here. Okay, so that's what goes in those blanks right there. Okay, uh, and then over here, let's see, uh, and how am I going to use this information? Well, I'm going to make a bar model, so I guess we're doing bar models from, uh, from prior knowledge uh, for each step to visualize this information, and then I will, um, uh, I'm going to multiply to find the total, and then I'm going to divide. So what I'm going to do is multiply uh, 32 times 3, and that'll give me the total amount of oranges, because three boxes, and there's 32 in each box. Or I can add 32 plus 32 plus 32 three times, okay? So multiplication is just a form of addition, okay? And then I'm going to divide it by whatever that total is, divide it by 8 at the end. And that will tell me how many oranges each family gets, okay? So I can draw bar models to uh, visualize this inf information that's given to me. Then I can decide how to find how many oranges to send to each family. Okay, so here's my bar model right here. Okay, so so um, uh, so th these represent my three boxes right here, and each box has 32 oranges in it. Okay, so I can either add 32 plus 32 plus 32, or I can multiply 32 times 3 because there's three of them. So I'll show you both ways, you guys. Okay, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. I put a 6 right here. Nothing to carry. 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 3 more is 9, so this side gets me 96. Over here, 3 times 2 is 6, and then 3 times 3 is 9, I get 96 either way. So that's how many total oranges there are. There's 96 total oranges, okay? So then uh, I'm going to model and divide to find how many of the oranges go into each family, okay? So look, there's uh, eight boxes right here and these eight boxes represent my eight families and out of these eight families I'm going to divide this 96 total right here okay so I think I brought that over on the other side right here yeah I did so we're going to do a division right here you guys so I'm going to divide eight goes into 96 okay so um, eight goes into the the nines position right here eight goes into nine one time right there okay so um, I just divided the, how many groups of um, uh, eights can I go into nine? So one. So now I multiply. One times eight is eight. Okay. Do you remember what to do? We subtract now. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract. All right. So nine minus eight is one. And then the next thing I do is I slide down this uh, ones right here, the six ones right here, because I can't uh, divide up uh, um, this one ten right here among eight different groups. So I have to convert this uh, 10 to 1. So I'm going to add that to the 6 ones right here, and it's going to become 16 ones, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and divide uh, the 16 ones divided by 8 right there. So 16 divided by 8 uh, is 2. So, um, and then I'm going to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 8 times 2, and I get 16, and then I'll subtract at the bottom right there, and I get 0. Okay, so here's the answer right here. So that's how many oranges are going to go to each family right there. Each family gets 12 oranges. Alrighty, and then if I wanted to uh, check my answer, what I could do is, is multiply um, uh, 12 times 8, and that'll tell me uh, uh, how many oranges I have total. 12 times 8 is 96, and then I take that 96 and divide it by 3, because there's 3 boxes, and I find out there's 32 in each box. So you can check your answer to make sure, just kind of work backwards on that, okay? Alright, let's try another one, you guys. So here's example 2. Uh, there are eight hot dogs in a package. When you buy a package of hot dogs, they come in eight. 
So how many packages are needed to feed 64 people if each person has two hot dogs? Yum, yum. Don't you love hot dogs? Mmm, mustard and relish and ketchup. Yum. Anyway, sorry you guys if you're in school and you're hungry. I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. All right, so read the problem. What do I need to find out? Okay, I need to figure out, uh, first of all, I need to figure out uh, uh, the total number of hot dogs that are needed. So I need to find out how many hot dogs are needed uh, for the 64 people. Okay, then I need to find out how many packages I will need to feed those 64 people. Okay, because uh, 64 people, each person has two hot dogs, and then so that would be my total right there. And then, um, and then I'm going to divide that by eight because uh, they come in packages of eight. So, so what if I'm, do I need? Okay, how many people? There's blank people. There's 64 people, each eating how many hot dogs? Each eating two hot dogs. Okay, and the hot dogs come in packages of what? Well, eight per package right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug all that information in right there. All right, I notice uh, the textbooks are doing that. So how will I use this info information? Uh, first, I'll draw a bar graph um, uh, for the uh, total for the total number of hot dogs, and then um, uh, and then I will uh, multiply to find this uh, total. So um, and then when I multiply that, then I'm going to divide. So I'm going to multiply uh, these two numbers together, or I can add 64 plus 64. Or I can add 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, 64 times, okay? And then whatever that is, that's my total. I think it's easier to go 64 times 2, okay? And then uh, take that number and divide it by 8. So here we go. So here's my uh, bar model right here. So these represent two hot dogs per person. I could have done 64 uh, people and done uh, two for each person right there, but I didn't want to do 64 boxes. It would have taken me so long to do that. It's easier to do uh, two hot dogs per person, and each uh, person had, um, um, uh, each person uh, uh, has 64 people gets two hot dogs. Okay, so um, so anyway, so it's going to be 64 times uh, two, and you get 128. Sorry if that's a little confusing, you guys. It would have been better to do 64 people, and then each person has two hot dogs, but I can't do 64 boxes right there. 2 times 64 is the same as 64 times 2, so that's why I did it like that. I can only do uh, two boxes. I don't have enough room anyways. So 64 times 2 is 128 total hot dogs right there, okay? So now, since they come in packages of 8, I'm going to take 8 and divide that into uh, 128. Okay, so here we go. 8 goes into uh, 1, does not. Okay, 8 goes into 12 one time. So I'm going to put the 1 right above the 2 right there. Okay, in the 10 spot. Okay, now I'm going to multiply 8 times 1 is 8. Then I'm going to subtract. Okay, there we go. I bring that, and then uh, now I'm going to slide down that extra 8 right there. So there's 48 ones. And then uh, we're going to divide 8 into 48 is 6 times, and we subtract and we get 0. Okay, so how many packages are we going to need? We're going to need uh, 16 packages of hot dogs to feed those 64 people. All right, let's try one more. This is fun. Hey, a pantry has 52 cans of vegetables and 74 cans of soup. If each shelf holds nine cans, what is the least number of shelves needed for all the cans? Okay, so the least number of shelves. So first we're going to draw a bar model again for the total number of cans. Okay, excuse me. And then um, uh, next, then we're going to find the total number of cans, okay? And then uh, we're going to draw a bar model to show the uh, number of shells that we're going to need, and then we're going to divide that uh, to find the number of shells needed, okay? So let's let's do this part first. Let's draw a bar model to do the total number of cans, okay? So 52 and 52 in, in uh, vegetables and 74 cans. So when I total those guys up, add them together, I get 126 cans all together, okay? So now we just uh, add. Uh, to find the total number of cans. So I just added those together right there, 126 cans, okay? Now, I'm going to draw a bar model for the uh, number of shelves that are needed, you guys, okay? And each shelf holds nine cans, so I'm going to make a bar model with nine boxes over here, okay? So that's over here, right here, okay? So each shelf holds nine cans, so there's my nine boxes right there, and they're going to total the 126 right there, you guys with me? Okay, so now I'm just going to divide, you guys. I'm going to take 9 and go into 126. So 9 goes into the 12 once, and I'm going to subtract, and I get 3, slide down to 6, and then go ahead and 9 goes into 36 four times, 
So um, uh, the minimum amount uh, uh, of shells I can have is 14 shells. Now let's say I had a remainder down here. Let's say I got a remainder of one or two or three. That would mean I would need a 15th shelf because you can have a shelf that has two or three cans on it, you guys. But the minimum amount of shells would be with 14 shells. If I had a remainder, that would mean I'd have to make a, an, an extra shelf because 14 shells... Um, uh, with, with nine cans each would fill up the 126. So if I had anything left over, I'd have to have an additional shelf right there. So it would be 15 shelves. All right. I hope this helps you guys. Take care, everybody.